Hello and welcome. In the following video, we're going to go over setting up and installing our DX Access Control software. First, you'll need to download it from our website, securitycameraking.com. Click on support at the top and then downloads. I'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. You'll see DX Access Control Software Manuals. Go ahead and click the top link, Software and Manual. After that downloads, go ahead and click on it. And you're going to want to extract the N3000 executable file. All right, go ahead and extract that. All right, again, we're going to click the N3000 executable. We'll go ahead and run it. The default username for this program is ABC, and the password is 123. And you'll type that in here. All right, and once you get in, we're going to show you how to add a controller board. So under basic config, you're going to hit controllers. And then you want to do search. And just make sure your controller is connected to the network and it should find it. So it assigned a DHCP uh, for the controller board. And now we're going to add found to system. All right, now that we have the board added, we're going to go over some of the other features. Now that we've added the controller to the system, we can now go on to the other options. The next one you have available to you is department. To add a department, you'll select add top. And it'll drop down. Now you could use that department under personnel. Under personnel, you have two ways of, of entering fobs or codes. The first one is auto add. Here you can use USB reader. You can present a fob to a door, or you can manually input the numbers of the fobs. Here we're going to use the door. So I'm going to walk over to my door and present a fob. Since I presented the fob, the numbers of the fob will now appear. Now I can click OK. My new user is now added. Now to edit this, I can either go here to edit, or I can double click on this line item. So here I can actually give this a name. And I can even assign it to a department. All right, anytime you make any changes, you want to go to a basic operate. Highlight your doors and upload this information to the board. This is a good rule of thumb to keep everything accurate. All right, so now we have a fob in there. The next thing I'll do is make a code. To do, that, to do that, we're going to have to add a few things from our extended functions, which is down on the bottom left hand corner. The password for this is 5678. All right, here I'll just add a few things that I'm going to go over later in this video. Activate access keypad is for your codes. The task list here 
is if you want to keep certain doors open during certain times and so forth, and I'll go over that feature shortly. All right, so we got that, and then it's gonna ask me to restart the program. Again, the username is ABC and 123 by default. All right, we'll go back to extended functions, make sure everything took. Five, six, seven, eight. And we have our added features now. I'll cancel out of that. All right, so under the access control tab, there's another sub menu called password management. You want to click that and then click the manual input password. This is for a code only. So we'll click all our doors in and out, select OK. And we'll upload this to the board. All right, now we're going to go back to basic config and to personnel, and we're going to add my new code. So this time, instead of auto add, we're just going to go to add. So I put my name in there, and then where it says card number, this is actually going to be the code. And then again, I can use a department of my choice. And an important thing here is to delete pin. This is not needed in this feature. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and upload that to the board again. All right, our next step is to give privileges and permissions to our doors. You can find that under access control and then access privilege. Once we get there, you want to go to change privileges. So now I have both of my users here. I can bring them over all at once or I can do them one at a time by using these arrows here. So in this example, I'm going to give wide open access 24 seven to my doors. Then again, I always want to load this, upload this to the board. And that's how you add users and give privileges. The next setting we're going to go over is time profile. This is found under access control, time profile. So we'll click on new, and here we can give a description. So this is a good example of this is if you only want someone to gain access during business hours. We have an activate date and a deactivate date. You can put uh, anything of your choosing in there. And these are the time segments. So let's say between Six AM and four PM Monday through Friday. And it just reminds you that you must upload this information to the board. So go to basic operate, highlight or select all, select upload. Okay. All right, now we've done that, we're going to go to Access Control, go to Access Privilege, go to Change Privileges, and over here on Time Profile, this is where you have that option now. 
So instead of having full 24 seven access, I could change this down to only business hours, Monday through Friday. Just make sure I upload it to the board again. The next setting here is task list. This is found under access control and task list. A good example of this here is a storefront that wants their front door open during business hours, uh, but the other door is locked. So a good example of this here would be to have Monday through Friday, adapt to Let's say door one is the front door of the storefront, and they would want this door to open at 6 a.m. So we'll go ahead and add that. And then they want it to lock at 6 p.m., but they still want access for people who have permissions and privileges. So we'll add another one, will be door controlled, 6 p.m., we'll add that. So those rules uh, would apply to that situation, and just close out of that, go to basic operate, and we'll add this information to the board. There's also a couple other settings under basic operate that I wanted to go over with you guys. The first one being monitoring. You can highlight a door and select monitor and it'll show you who goes through or who tries to get into that door. You can check a door to make sure it's online. You can adjust the time. And then you can get records. So we'll get records. OK. Once you select get records, you want to go here to the swipe records. And this will tell you the history. Another good feature is that you can remote open from the software. Well, that's all we're going to get into today. If you have any questions, please contact us at securitycameraking.com. We have a forum and a live chat, and you could always get us on the phone. Thank you so much for watching.